What is IDS and why it matters? IDS here, IDS there, IDS everywhere. What is the buzz about? I'm sure you heard about IDS everywhere these days, but what is IDS really? And how can it actually be useful? Why should you listen to me? Well, I have been using IDS on my project since August 2023, so I know what it works and what does not. If you don't know this already, I'm Pedro Condoraro, founder of Beamvoice. I also run the Bonsai Bootcamp where I help BIM professionals to work more efficiently with IFC by leveraging Bonsai, IDS and more while becoming comfortable with the IFC schema. Additionally, I manage BIM Voice Friends, the largest open BIM community where professionals can connect, share knowledge and get support. Now, let's get into it. So what is IDS and why should you care? Well, IDS or Information Delivery Specification is a game changer for BIM data management. It is a structured way to define what information should be included in your models in a way that both humans and software can understand. If you have ever struggled with missing properties, misaligned classifications or incorrect attributes in your BIM workflow, IDS can help you fix that. With IDS, you can define clear automated data validation rules, ensuring that everyone on your team follows the same standards. No more manual checking. No more surprises, just clean reliable data from the start. Why IDS is a game changer? Well, no more guesswork. IDS ensures that the information you need is actually in your model, eliminating missing or incorrect data. Automated checks, instead of manually checking models, IDS lets software to do the work for you. Of course, we have also better collaboration. Everyone knows what data is expected in the model, reducing miscommunication and errors. And of course, consistency across projects. If you use IDS across all your projects, you will always get well-structured data that meets the same quality standards. How IDS works? An IDS file is basically a set of rules in XML format that defines what information a model should have. For example, let's say you want to ensure that all walls in your model have a fire rating. You can set up an IDS rule that says the element must be a wall, it must have a fire rating property, the value must be one of REI 30, REI 60 or REI 90. With these rules in place, any software that supports IDS can automatically check whether your model meets the requirements. About the tools, if you want to start using IDS, here are some reliable tools that support it. Aka USBIM IDS Editor, it's a tool for creating, editing and validating IDS files to ensure compliance with project requirements. This tool is free to create IDS, but you need to pay for validation. I use this tool to create IDS. So yeah, it plays an important role in my workflows and like I said, it's free. Bonsai, it's a powerful IC native authoring tool that allows for advanced model validation and IDS implementation. I run IDS in Bonsai to check model compliance and I also navigate and look at the challenges in uh, Bonsai. IDS Validator by Building Smart. This is a tool designed to check if your IDS is correct. These are the tools that I use in my workflows, but there are many more out there. Let me know if you are using any of these or if you have a favorite tool for IDS. What you see here, it's how a report shows after running an IDS with Bonsai. You get an HTML page with a report like this, which can help you to troubleshoot your IDS. I love this. This is amazing. You can expand these errors and you can see what is the challenge that you have to fix. I love it. Like I said, I think this is an amazing feature that helps me to save a lot of time and to troubleshoot my IDS very quickly. What about advanced capabilities of IDS? IDS is not just about making sure properties exist. It can also do things like checking if values are within a certain range, make sure objects have required relationships, validating naming conventions. However, IDS does not yet support checking geometry, so you will still need other tools for that. So how IDS fits with other standards? Well, IDS works together with other building smart standards like IFC, which defines the structure of building data, BSDD or Building Smart Data Dictionary, which provides a standardized library of terms and classification. Important, BSDD is not a standard, it's a dictionary. It's important to keep in mind that BSDD is not a standard, it's actually a service provided by Building Smart International. So by using IDS, IFC and BSDD, you can get a solid workflow that keeps your models accurate, standardized and easy to validate. The future of IDS, what should we expect for? As of June 2024, so roughly half a year ago, IDS version 1.0 is now an official standard approved by Building Smart International. This means more and more companies will be adopting it and software tools will continue to integrate IDS features. If you are a BIM coordinator, project manager, or just someone who cares about high quality data, learning IDS will make your job easier and your models more reliable, while also saving a lot of time. If you want to read more about IDS, you can follow this link that you see right there, or you can just Google IDS Building Smart International and you get to the same place. If you have any questions about IDS, let me know. If there is a specific aspect of IDS you are interested in, leave me a comment and I'll try to help you out. 
If you want to take this further, and if you are serious about mastering ideas, do not forget to check out the Bonsai Bootcamp, where I teach BIM professionals how to leverage Ideas Bonsai and IC workflows to work smarter and save time for better project outcomes. And if you are looking for an active community to ask questions, share knowledge and get support, join the free BIM Voice Friends community. It is becoming the largest open BIM community out there. I hope this was helpful. See you in the community. Cheers!